Mara Riviera here at the 25th annual GLAAD Media Awards with transgender model Gina. Can I say Rosero? Rosero. I love how you rolled that R. You know, Rosero. Rosero. It's almost like you want to dance a little bit like that, right? Can we dance a little bit like that? I know that because I'm in Riviera myself, so I know the. R. Well, I'm from the Philippines, so the Latin is definitely there. I mean, Rosero. You know, so I really get it. <laughs> You're beautiful, you're gorgeous, you're skinny. Now, how was it that you got into modeling and everything that you're doing as an out trans? Right. Well, um, it started in the Philippines. I mean, I was um, when I was 15, I started joining beauty pageants in the Philippines for transgender women. So in a way, uh, becoming a model was sort of like the, it's inevitable for me to do that. So that's always been my dream. I moved to United States in 2001. I was living in San Francisco. And then in 2005, I made the decision to just really pursue my dream and move to New York, take that one-way ticket and just, you know what, you just have to take happy. I took that risk because trans women, girls that feel like, oh, I can't do it, oh, I'm too this, I'm too that, you know, what am I to do? I think when you're following your passion, something that you really dream about, when you follow your truth, you can't go wrong. You know, there's steps to get there. Sometimes it's difficult. There's definitely the journeys of ups and downs, but you always have to just keep within your truth and you could never ever go wrong. I think Laverne Koff talked about that beautifully that, you know, we need possibility models. I mean, let's, let's just reimagine for a second when media like platforms like GLAAD started covering like transgender CEOs of companies, engineers, scientists. I mean, they're out there, but we need, we need to more, we need, we need to have more like media exposure around that. I think it's very important when people see the image itself, you know, it changes a lot of things and media is very powerful, you know, and then, I mean, to have that, it's, you know, I think it changes a lot of, a lot of perception and possible for, for people to achieve dreams that they've always wanted to do. Well, thank you so much for being out there and proud and doing it. Uh, what projects or what are you working on now? Well, I, we launched Gender Proud, genderproud.com. What Gender Proud is for advocating for a global message, why it's important for countries around the world to have gender recognition in their, in, their, in their law. What that means is it would allow transgender people and gender variant people to change name and gender marker on documents without being forced to go through surgeries, right? And I've recently been shooting a lot, um, recently just got a speaker agent and will be touring the country in the next in next fall I recently shot a a very big it's coming out in June this is a huge hospitality campaign I can't talk about it yet but it's, it's definitely going to be really big with billboards and big media campaigns and it's been an amazing process especially with this company like this is a company that's been widely known to be quite conservative but for them to take on like different like LGBT personalities to be to be part of their campaign is a big step so I'm excited to be part of that oh, awesome so congratulations <laughs> and thank you for being out there lastly where can your fans new fans find you online Twitter and Instagram sure. and all that sure I'm um, Instagram and Twitter at Gina Rosero that's G E E N A R O C E R O that's simple thank you so much girl good thank to you. see you good to see you see you around okay, okay.